Indiana Development and its investment partners are prepared, ready, willing, and able to provide a $10 billion investment for the redevelopment of the entire city of Highland Park. The bold pledge to jumpstart Highland Park's economy would include more than $50 million to cover the city's disputed debt with the Great Lakes Water Authority. Kenneth Hogan from Manor Development, along with others, say they're working with anonymous philanthropists to help the city to put America on wheels get back on track. You're excited about the possibility, the possibility of this project. The possibility with this blighted neighborhood, come on. Who wouldn't think of possibility? But Hogan and others would not say who those nameless investors are or where the money is coming from. The average person around here don't have 10 billion. Is that coming from Iran? Is it coming from Putin, or Putin over there in Russia? Is it coming from my uncle around the corner? I don't know where it's coming from. Highland Park Mayor Hubert Yom says he doesn't know if this ambitious plan is legit or not, or what strings would be attached. But I've not seen anything to confirm that there's $10 billion for this city. I need a confirmation. I don't have that. And I've not seen it. City Council President Carlton Clyburn knew nothing of the plan prior to Friday's press conference. There's a lot of skepticism until we see it in black and white because we've been led astray before. Not to say that this group is here to lead us astray, but there's always something that I need to look at. The group behind the $10 billion announcement wants the city to call an emergency council meeting over the next few weeks to discuss the matter. The Great Lakes Water Authority says the city owes more than $55 million, and while it was not aware of the proposed development. It's generally supportive of this and any other efforts that could lead to a resolution of the debt owed to the regional authority. In Highland Park, I'm Randy Wembley, Fox 2 News.